Oh, it's a nice cloudy morning here in San Diego at 5.30 in the morning on my S22 range test. I'm going to be doing the same range test I did on the Master at 20 miles an hour, flat grounds, no elevation gain, and we'll see what we get. I'm doing this uh, early in the morning because I'm pressed for time. And uh, believe it or not, it's the same temperature now that it was when I did my master range test. 70 degrees the whole time. Got my uh, alarm set for 22 miles an hour, just like I did the master. We'll see what we get. I do want to say that the lights on the S22 are miles above the, the master you can see i've got full range of view in front of me and i can even adjust these to have one be pointed more up so that i can see kind of what's coming up in front of me i can adjust that on the fly i also want to talk about my uh turn signal system that i have set up on my backpack i've been doing it for a couple years and uh i typically get a lot of comments from uh cars and cyclists about my turning signal system as opposed to what I'm riding. So I've got a blinker in the front that signals my directions and then I've also got a blinker in the back that shows the same thing and it's much bigger. So I really like this because it's bright, it's easy to be seen at both day, night, dawn, dusk, whatever. It's just super bright, it's super easy to control. I just have the remote on my hand right here. And uh, I mean, I've been doing it for years and it's really awesome. I don't have to worry about adding extra lights to me because those are pretty bright. Typically I, I commute to work in the mornings uh, before the sun comes out. So it's nice just being able to use the turn signal backpack that I have and I've done lots of product reviews on this so you can go watch those videos if you look at the link in the description coming up to downtown San Diego and there's the airport right there not a single plane on the runway San Diego Bay, the Embarcadero, got lots of historic ships here, historic uh, submarines, we got the oldest iron hull sailing ship in the world, lots of cool stuff in this area, that's the Star of India. gone 16 miles not 80 percent battery not 117 volts Salt Mountains, South Bay Salt Works. It's snow in San Diego. Actually, it's just salt. 
All right, I'm on the Silver Strand, seven miles of straight flat sand and ocean on both sides. Let's see, I've gone 29 miles and I'm at 66% or 113.8 volts. Well, I am impressed. I don't think I've ever seen a wheel riding at 19 degrees C. <laughs> that is so impressive. This has got to be the coolest running wheel I've ever had. And I, I've been riding non-stop for 32 miles. Every other wheel typically rests at like 40. Alright, here is the halfway spot. Let's see where I'm at. 59% according to the app the master is at 57 i'm at 112.2 volts averages have been pretty much the same that means that i haven't stopped this is my first break in over an hour and 50 minutes according to commute i've gone 35 gps miles i'm gonna take my usual five minute break drink some water eat some snacks and then i will keep on going I just hit 50 miles on the GPS. Don't do that. I'm at 42%, 105 volts. Fifty-five miles, and I'm hovering right around one hundred four volts. Entering back into downtown, I've gone sixty-one miles. At twenty-eight percent battery, a hundred and one point. I'm going downhill right now, so I'm probably at 101.5, 101 volts. Alright, I've officially been throttled. I'm at 65 miles. <laughs> I was just riding and hearing tons of uh, beeps on my wheel. I don't know if you can see that, but it's saying, hey, your battery's low. But it's crazy, I still have 13%. Ninety-four volts. This is weird. I'm still very far away from home. So, yeah, this is sad. I haven't even hit 70 miles yet. Well, I'm gonna keep on going and see what happens. I'll probably stay under 20 miles an hour now though. My wheel's beeping at me. beeping every now and then. But man, 
man, that's gonna be annoying. At least it's the quietest beeper in the world. see here yeah man right at 65 and a half miles when, when it started I'm not getting any tilt back but it sure is angrily beeping at me that's really not liking this up there oh there's the tilt back that is pretty aggressive tilt back right there. I'm sure you can see that. Well, so 66 miles. I'm sitting at 95 volts. 7% battery left. And, uh, this thing's kicking me off. Look at that angle. Uh, I'm gonna walk it to the top of this little hill. And... Uh, see if I can ride down the hill at all. So I turned the wheel off, turned it right back on. Still riding. I wonder if it was just that little hill that... Sent it over the edge, but it was not coming back out of tilt back. Let's see if I can make it home. <laughs> that was super weird. Hopefully, I can get a little bit further in. Of course, when I turned off my wheel. Everything disconnected, so I've lost my uh, EUC tour, but I still got commute going. Alright, so I was able to go another mile. Now it's at 2% battery, just under 93 volts. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not wanting me to go any further. I'm going to call this ride at... So 65 is when it started beeping, and 60... Five and a half, sixty-six is when it I got the first tilt back and then I turned the wheel off and turned it back on and was able to get another mile on flat ground. So now I'm gonna try tilting the wheel to the side instead of turning it off. And see what that does. If I start rolling the wheel this way, if I keep on going in that direction. I don't know about you, but that is not rideable to me. So, 60. 65 miles, 165 pound rider, 20 miles per hour, all flat. Nice thing is I wasn't even throttled until the last mile when it just started beeping at me. So just as an antidote at the end, once you hilt, tilt back, it stays there and you have to turn the wheel off in order for it to go normal again and then you have to ride it slower than you were riding it in order to keep on going as soon as you hit that speed limit or whatever it'll just tilt back and you can't ride it anymore good to know it's unlike other wheels where if you stop riding it'll just start tilting forward again but this one this one doesn't let you do that 
So 91 volts is dead dead. I'm going to say 92 is where it really dies, but I'm officially at zero. I think I went uh, 67.8, but I kept on having to turn off the wheel, turn it back on, crawl, turn it off, turn it back on, crawl. Hopefully this helps some people.